Hi everyone! After more than 40 episodes in this series, we are finally ready to tackle outfit conversions. This means taking an outfit made for one type of body and refitting it to a different type of body. For example, making a UNP outfit into a CBBE outfit. Because of the complexities involved in outfit conversions and the different ways you can tackle it, we're going to spend a lot of time on this. In this overview video, I'll explain the process, four different approaches for refitting the outfit to a new body, discuss how this can distort your outfit, give you some high-level tips, and then we'll end with a list of the upcoming videos. If you are looking for a quick how-to video, then none of these are going to be your cup of tea. I'll be going slow, explaining in detail, and aiming to teach both concepts and methods to beginners and others who want to refresh their knowledge of the subject. You may have noticed as we've moved into the topic of sliders that I've been referring to both body slide project NIFs and standalone outfit NIFs. The lines between these two have been getting blurry, and they are going to get even blurrier as we move forward because whether you use body slide or not, the overall conversion process is almost exactly the same for both. But it's important to note that outfits for body slide projects just need one size, and that's not size zero or size one. It's the special shape of the body slide reference body. Most conversion references will assume you are only converting to the single body slide reference shape and won't provide you with size zero or size one conversion sliders. So you may have to do some extra steps to get both sizes if you are just converting an outfit to use directly in your game versus converting it for a body slide project. You can use most of the same techniques and methods for both scenarios, and I'll try to point out where they diverge. The main points to remember are, if you are working on a body slide project, you have just one NIF the reference NIF that is saved in the shape data folder. You'll be editing that NIF and you'll have to conform it to the new reference body sliders for it to work properly in body slide. If you are working on an outfit that is not going into body slide, but instead you just want to put it directly into a mod folder to use in Skyrim, then you'll need to edit both the size zero and size one NIFs for the outfit. The reason for this difference is that Body Slide uses the single reference NIF to create both the size zero and size one outfits when you build within that application. So you only have to change the reference NIF and then build the outfit in Body Slide in order to get a successful weight sliding outfit in the game. One final comment about working with Body Slide outfits. If you want to convert an outfit that is made for body slide, you can either load in the reference NIF from the shape data folder, or you can load up the actual body slide project. Using the NIF from the shape data folder will be most like what I'm showing in the next few videos because it will come in looking like a regular standalone outfit and you can start right off with the reshaping. If you load up a body slide project, you will get the outfit plus all of its body sliders. To convert that to a whole new body type, you have to delete all of the existing sliders by first making sure they are all ticked and then going to slider, delete slider. Then you can proceed with refitting and finish up by either creating a new body slide project for the outfit or by turning it into standalone size zero and size one NIFs and I'll be explaining how to do both. The only exception to this that I'm aware of is converting CBBE to 3BA. Because they share sliders and most of the bones, you should leave both of those alone. Don't reconform to the sliders or delete bone weights. You'll just need to replace the CBBE body with the 3BA body and then re-weight only to the physics bones. And also, note that not all outfit pieces will need conversion from CBBE to 3BA, just those that are worn on parts of the body having physics weights. 
We'll go over all of that in a separate video about 3BA. Outfit conversions can be challenging, and they may put all of your Outfit Studio skills to the test. Before we worry about all that, let's start by reviewing the general outfit conversion process. First, you convert the shape of the outfit to match the new body. Then you replace the original body with the new body. Then redo weight painting either in part or in full so that the outfit matches the new body. Check and then, if needed, change the partitions so that the new body matches the original. Export and optimize the NIF. And then finish in one of two ways. If it's for body slide, conform the outfit to the reference body sliders, edit the sliders as needed, and make any required zap sliders. If it's not for body slide, make size zero and or size one versions of the NIFs. Please note that if you are converting an outfit that has HDT SMP physics, there are some additional considerations. I'll note a few of these in our upcoming examples, but we are not going to do a physics-enabled outfit until later in the series. I strongly suggest that you practice converting a regular outfit first before you tackle one with physics. One of the most time-consuming parts is number one, converting the shape of the outfit. There are different ways to go about doing this, and I will be covering four approaches for refitting an outfit to a new body. Body reference conversion sliders, custom body sliders, using body slide presets, and manual conversion. We'll be doing an example of each approach in the upcoming videos, but to give you an idea, I'll briefly explain each method here. There are resources available in most body slide compatible body mods to help make the outfit conversion process quicker and easier. You can find pre-made conversion references, which are just sliders, in the CBBE, TBD, BHUNP, the modders resource, and Himbo body mods. And you can find more conversion references supplied in standalone mods or other modders resources. These conversion sliders are handy tools, and they can be quite useful for converting your outfits. But like all sliders, they may not work as well as you'd like. So definitely try them, but be prepared to try another method if the conversion reference slider doesn't do a brilliant job. If you use a conversion reference slider, please remember to replace the conversion body with the real body when you are done. What I mean is, after you use the slider and do the conversion, delete that body and bring in the appropriate size of the new body type. Then make any final required edits, copy bone weights, and check partitions before completing the finishing steps. If the outfit is for body slide, you will need to load in the matching reference body so that you get all of the necessary body sliders. If you can't find a conversion reference for the relevant body types you are converting, or if the available conversion goes the wrong way from what you want, then you can make your own conversion slider. This is usually easy if both bodies have the same base shape, meaning they have the same number and order of vertices between the two bodies. If they don't, then it's more difficult and will require a lot more work on your part. You will have to choose one of the bodies and remake the shape of the other from that. For example, I have made a CBBE body into a himbo shaped body to make it a bit easier to convert female to male armors and vice versa between those two body types. You can save your new custom conversion sliders as a project. Then you'll have it available for yourself and you can share it as a mod for others to use to help make converting outfits easier in the future for yourself and for the whole modding community. We'll talk more about tips for making custom conversion sliders when we get to that video. If you don't want to use body slide to build the outfit, 
perhaps because you don't want to use the particular body type the outfit was made for. But there is a preset that matches the final shape that you want, or you're willing to make such a preset yourself, then you can actually put body slide to use for the conversion. You would simply build the NIFs for that preset, then bring each size NIF into Outfit Studio, replace the existing body with the new body you want, fix clipping or any other issues, redo the weight painting, and export the new NIFs or finalize and save it as a body slide project. Obviously, this only works if the outfit is body slide compatible, but it can be a real time saver since most of the hardest work will be done by the software. Body slide might seem intimidating at first, but it's really not so bad once you get used to it. If you haven't used it before, have a look at my body slide tutorial series to learn more. Manual conversion means reshaping the outfit yourself without a slider using all the tools and brushes available in Outfit Studio. How easy this is depends on the outfit and the differences between the starting shape and the shape you want to convert it into. Sometimes manual conversion is the best way, even if it isn't the fastest or the easiest. See the link in the description for a great conversion guide by Jeer and Doctor. I noted this when talking about making size conversions, but I'll repeat it again here. Anytime you convert an outfit, whether it's to another size or to another body, you are distorting the original mesh. If done well, you should not be able to tell that the new one is not identical to the original. But the distortion is there and it will be magnified each time you perform another conversion. The analogy I like to use is running a sentence through several languages in Google Translate and then back to the original. You don't usually get the same thing out the other side. And the same issue applies to your outfits. Because of this, I recommend that you limit conversions to the absolute minimum number needed in order to achieve your goal. Don't add conversion steps that aren't required. And make sure you take the time to do quality work at each step. If you can't get a good looking conversion with a certain mesh, you may need to add more vertices to it for better shaping. This can be done using the refine option in Outfit Studio. There are some caveats to this, and we won't be covering how to refine meshes until quite a bit later in the series, but I wanted to mention it here so that you are aware that this option exists. The only way to get really good at doing outfit conversions is by doing lots of them. The more you work in Outfit Studio, the better you will get with all of the tools and functions. Here are a few tips to keep in mind when you are refitting an outfit to a new body. Start from the inside out. Do the inner pieces first, and then the next layer out, etc, etc. Don't fix every bit of clipping with the body. Instead, zap out the body underneath wherever it's entirely covered by the outfit. Don't over edit. Inflate, deflate, and move vertices just enough to fit the new shape. The more you edit, the more likely you are to distort the mesh and or create new problems. Leave custom physics bones alone. If the outfit has SMP physics, leave those custom bones alone and do not delete the original weight painting for those bones or else you're going to have to redo it all yourself from scratch. Lastly, practice, practice, practice. The better you are with the tools in Outfit Studio, the better your conversions will be. To practice refitting and show you examples for the four different methods, we're going to take our demo top from the Simply for Practice mod through the following conversions. If you don't yet have the Simply for Practice mod, but you want to follow along, please see the link under resources in the video description. We will mostly be using CBBE resources to learn about the refitting process since you probably already have the required files installed and because CBBE is a good bridge to other body types. 
Later on, we will also tackle some other specific body types, such as 3BA, BHUNP, and HIMBO. Regardless of what body type conversion you are making, there are two ways to finish off your outfit. So I'll also be including videos that will show you one, how to turn your refitted reference mesh into a body slide project, and two, how to make the refitted reference mesh into size zero and size one NIFs to put directly into Skyrim. In this overview video, we discuss the general process of converting an outfit. The four approaches we will explore for refitting the outfit to a new body. Some important considerations for this refitting step, such as managing mesh distortions and tips for good editing. And we finished off with a snapshot of the conversion examples that we're going to work through. For these upcoming videos, you should be well prepared to follow along if you've been working in Outfit Studio for a while. If you are completely new to Outfit Studio, I recommend reviewing some of the early videos in this series to become more familiar with the tools and functions we'll be using. Thanks for watching this overview, and I'll see you again soon for our first example conversion. Bye!